Hey guys, Ross with RV Tips and Travels. Today I wanna to offer up a solution for three issues that a lot of us may have with the RV bedroom. First, the underbed storage is not easy to access. Listen, it's a great large storage area. It's just not convenient to use on a regular basis. Second, because RV beds usually have storage underneath them, they're already pretty high up off the floor. On top of that, most of us have added a mattress topper or just change the mattress out altogether to a thicker, more comfortable mattress. And because of the height, it can make it a little bit awkward to get on and off this bed in the middle of the night. Third, the storage in these standard RV bedroom layouts is pretty minimal. We all understand the sacrifices that we make when we travel in an RV, but having more storage and more easily accessible storage is never a bad thing. And since a lot of RV bedrooms are the same layout, closet on the left, closet on the right, some storage up above, and that's pretty much it. Today we're going to build something to help with all three of these issues and I wanted to share this with you guys. Stick around. So we're here at Lowe's, we're gonna get some wood quick. So I think I'm gonna go with three quarter inch pine. It's a lightweight wood, but it's sturdy enough to stand on. And if I decide to use stain, pine holds stain pretty well. A lot of RVers are adding doors or drawers to this underbed storage to make the access easier, which is a great idea. Might be something we even do down the road, but it doesn't add storage or make it easier for short people to get off the bed, which are the problems we're trying to solve. So we're going to utilize this wasted space down here by building a foot locker. It should be fairly easy, but I'm already noticing there might be a couple snags if we don't build it correctly. So we're gonna cover those things as we move through. Now your measurements may be different in your RV versus what I take in my RV, but I'll show you how I take my measurements so you can adjust those so it fits in your RV. So we're gonna start with the floor first. We're gonna measure the width, 23 and a quarter. And it's always good to measure in a couple different spots because RVs are not always square. Then just measure how far you want the step to come out. I'm gonna come out 24 inches. Now, when this is finished, the front fascia piece is going to overlap the floor and the sides, and I'll explain why we're gonna do that later. So our first cut for the floor of the foot locker is going to be 23 and a quarter inches wide by 23 and a quarter inches long. We're gonna take three quarters inch off the front because that's the thickness of the wood that we're using for the front fascia. Now our back piece is going to rest on the floor of our foot locker, gonna be 23 and a quarter inches wide, and we're only going eight inches up, which will leave a one inch gap between the outlet for the top piece and a little bit of thickness of the carpet. Now your side pieces are gonna be the same height as your back piece, which is eight inches. These are gonna be 22 and a half inches long, which is three quarters of an inch shorter because they're resting in front of the back piece. So we're gonna cut the front piece. The front piece is going to be 23 and a quarter inches wide, just like the floor, it overlaps the sides, but it's going to be eight and three quarter inches tall because it's not going to rest on the floor of the foot locker. We're gonna have it go all the way to the floor of the RV. The reason I do this is if you decide to stain this piece here, it's all one piece, so you don't have different edges. It's a much cleaner look if you're staining one piece. So now we can take everything out and put it together. I'm going to put wood glue on every edge that touches another piece of wood. And I'm using a one and a quarter inch narrow crown staple with a pneumatic staple gun. And when you put these staples in, you wanna put them in the direction of the edge of the wood that you're going into so it doesn't split the wood. Now, if you don't have a staple gun, you can absolutely use nails, or wood screws, but anytime you're using wood screws near the edge of a piece of wood, I would recommend drilling pilot holes first. We can also cut the top piece of the foot locker now as well, but the dimensions are gonna be a little bit different. The width is still gonna be 23 and a quarter, but the top is gonna to be 25 inches. We're gonna leave it at the normal 24 inches we want it to come out, so that squares up with the front fascia piece, which is three quarters of an inch, and we're gonna add that extra inch for a little bit of a lip to be able to grab and pull up on. Now I'm just gonna put everything back in, test fit it. And if you have a trim piece, you can just score it with a razor knife, pull the box back up and pull that piece out. Because the mattress extends about six inches over the foot locker, hinging the top from the side of the bed would allow us to open the top farthest and give us the best access inside. But because the locker fits tight and the top needs to extend away from the locker to open, 
we need to change the point at which the top hinges. I'm cutting two inches off the top on the side of the bed at this two inch mark and you can see now we don't have to worry about the top having an extended clearance to open. I'm going to glue and staple the cut piece just as we did to assemble the box, but remember you'll want to position this piece away from the back wall just enough to when we match it up to the top it will clear any outlet covers or USB ports if you have them. Since we are close to the edge of the wood I'm going to drill pilot holes for the hinge screws to prevent the wood from splitting. Next, we can install our hinges. And the cool thing is you can customize this box however you want. You can eliminate the lip on the front, you can have the lid open an entirely different way, or put partitions inside for the different things that you wanna store. You could stain the front and carpet just the top lid, or you can stain the entire foot locker. To secure the foot locker in place, I just put a couple wood screws through the side into the underbed storage framing. I decided to carpet the entire box using 10 millimeter staples, and here is the finished product. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more RV related videos, we hope you consider subscribing. Thanks for watching guys. Happy camping.